Hello, Ryan here, aka Mac, and welcome. In this video, I go through the roadmap each week, letting you know what has changed. As always, a huge thank you to all of my patrons and channel members who allow me to make these kinds of videos, in particular to my latest channel member, my love is coffee. Thank you so much for your support. Also, before we begin, if you want to be in with a chance to win a Mercury Star Runner, make sure you are subscribed here on my YouTube and like and comment any video that I release between the 25th of November and the 9th of December. So Alpha 3.12 is well into testing on the Evocati PTU. Currently, they are up to 3.12.0D. I will cover the latest D patch notes in a separate video later today, so do keep your eyes out for that one. Many of the 3.12 tasks are now in polishing and currently being implemented into the branch, but there are still a few yet to be finished. We are still awaiting the new roadmap. Last we heard, it will be sometime in the first half of December. That, I expect, will keep me entertained for a long while going into the new year. And of course, as soon as we do get the new roadmap, I will cover everything you need to know. So in 3.12 over the last couple of weeks, starting with the locations, the Stanton system spacecaping is at 74% complete with 26 out of 35 tasks being done. Only nine to go there and they are looking absolutely incredible. The space station refinery decks are at 93% complete with 75 out of 81 tasks being done. Six now remaining till it's in polishing. Very excited to see these come along. I wonder how it's going to change mining. Hopefully it will be more viable to mine other minerals other than just Laranite and Agrocium. Making it more profitable for those with maybe just the Arbor mining laser if they can't afford to get the Helix yet. So on to gameplay, Reputations version 1 is at 97% complete with 36 out of 37 tasks being done. Four were completed last week but one was added so only one now to go there. Similar for the station based refining, that is also at 97% complete with 70 out of 72 tasks being done. Two were completed over the course of a couple of weeks, three were added, two now to go. The Grey Cat tractor beam is at 88% complete with 21 out of 24 tasks being done. Three were completed, four were removed, three now remain and we saw a lot of this on Inside Star Citizen and it is looking like it's going to be a very useful tool. The elevator panel updates are at 94% complete. This, I feel, is kind of the underdog of the tasks. It will be such a blessing having these elevator panels updated rather than white floating text. But that is sitting now at 17 out of the 18 tasks being done. Six were completed, one now remains. And the vehicle entry ID is in polishing. Also, something to note is that the vehicle entry ID, which tells you where your entry points are on your ship, can actually be toggled on and off should you want it or not. So for ships and vehicles, the Talon and the Talon Shrike are at 80% complete with 43 out of 54 tasks being done. 17 have been completed since we last saw any changes. Four were added, now just 11 to go there. Finally, for weapons and items, both the Bayring FS9 LMG and the Gemini A03 sniper rifle are now in polishing. So that is the latest on the roadmap front. Quite a brief one because everything is nearing completion. But most of what is left only has a few tasks remaining and 3.12 is really shaping up to be a great build for the holidays. If you do want to keep up with all of the leaks of Alpha 3.12, be sure to hit subscribe and do check out my other videos. I have covered a couple of other patch releases already. But with that said, tick that notification bell if you do want to be notified every time my video goes live. And be sure to come and hang out over on twitch.tv forward slash Ryan. All of the links are in the description below. Everybody is welcome. Thank you again to my patrons and channel members. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.